Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Retired Vet Show. <clears throat> Kansas City Chiefs kicker, Harrison Butker, doxed for his commencement speech at Benedictine College. I will play this video clip. It's a small clip from the news down there in Kansas City. Then I will come back on the back end and, and we'll discuss it. Super Bowl champion Chiefs kicker Harrison Butger get, getting some backlash after his commencement speech at a Catholic university. It's for comments he made about gay rights, abortion, and the rule of women in society. ABC's Stephanie Ramos has the story. He kicked the longest field goal in Super Bowl history to lead the Kansas City Chiefs to victory over the 49ers. That is now nine consecutive makes from outside 50 for yeah. Butker. But this morning, Harrison Butker is making headlines for his remarks off the field. During a commencement address at Benedictine College, a conservative Catholic liberal arts school in Kansas. It is safe to say that over the past few years, I've gained quite the reputation for speaking my mind. Butker sounding off about working women. I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career? Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. Butker then referring to Pride Month, which celebrates the LGBTQ community as a deadly sin. Not the deadly sin sort of pride that has an entire month dedicated to it, but the true God-centered pride that is cooperating with the Holy Ghost to glorify him. I couldn't believe it was such an outdated, antiquated view on LGBTQ people and women and using religion in a way. Butker also mentioning priests who become too familiar with parishioners, illustrating his point by borrowing a line from a song written by a certain famous teammate's girlfriend. Because as my teammate's girlfriend says, familiarity breeds contempt. That line from Taylor Swift's Bejeweled quickly drawing the ire of Swifties. One writing, I didn't think you grasped the message of the Taylor Swift song you quoted. Go listen to all her albums as homework. The NFL reacting to the speech, saying Harrison Butker gave a speech in his personal capacity. His views are not those of the NFL as an organization. The NFL is steadfast in our commitment to inclusion, which only makes our league stronger. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our <laughs> YouTube channel. And So let's, let's talk about the NFL real quick. The NFL said they're for inclusion, but they excluded him because of what he was talking about. So how are they for inclusion? And they come out against him. Totally makes no sense to me. You minced your words. You would double speak. We're for inclusion, just not what you got to say. As far as him speaking at a religious institution and speaking his mind about his religious beliefs. First of all, he's at a Catholic church. And they have specific beliefs. And he might believe, as they say, maybe on an extreme view. I, me personally, I stand where he stands as far as the LGBT community. It is a sin for two men to be together, for two women to get, be together. Why is that? According to the Bible, that many of you may not believe in, but according to the Bible, that's a sin. That's our belief. That's God's belief. Whether you believe there is a God or not, is irrelevant to this conversation. It doesn't change the fact that one day we're all going to die and we're going to stand before that God. You might not believe that too. That's okay. That's your opinion. I'm entitled to mine. And that's where I stand. That's where he stood. There was a time in this country where that was abhorred. You couldn't talk about somebody who was gay or lesbian. Now it's on front street. It's right in your face. It's on every TV show. Everything that we do has, is evolved around LGBTQ. And Christians are shunned for their beliefs. We have a First Amendment right, just as well as the LGBTQ community has a right of free speech. But when we speak, somehow we're being mean-spirited. But when you speak and denigrate us, it's okay. Now, you might be listening to the video and turn off. That's fine. You are entitled to do that. I'm entitled to voice my opinion here on this station. This is free for me. It's free for you to click off. I'm not going to be mad at you. You don't have to be mad at me. 
He was talking about the priest. Priests were grooming little boys. What's wrong with him speaking that truth to a Catholic audience? Because a lot of Catholics know this is going on, yet they keep their mouths quiet. And he just called them for it. What's wrong with that? In this country, we 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 have this, this small group of people are pretty much dictating what everybody else does. And it's time for those who have a religious beliefs to stand up and say, no, my voice counts just as much as yours. Well, let me know what you think down in the comments. <clears throat> I will link in the description box his entire speech if I can find it. So you can hear everything that he said. You can believe, you can agree with him or not, but that's his opinion. They invited him there to speak that opinion. <clears throat> Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. And thank you for listening to the Retired Vet Show. God bless you all.